Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and today uh, we actually have uh, one of the probably like five or six mess kits I own. I don't own a lot of mess kits, I own a fuck ton of canteen, so as you guys have probably noticed. But uh, this is a mess kit that I actually have three or four of these, because uh, I like them that much. And uh, this would be the Swedish mess kit, which is again a German influenced mess kit. Um, except this one's a little bit different. It's got a lot of cool features and, um, it's really, really well built. So, uh, we'll, we'll get into it here. Uh, first off, we'll start with some of the stuff that I got with it. Now this, uh, right here kind of resembles a gas mask filter. Um, there you can see on the back, it says NC68 and then it's got the people that made it, Swedish three triple crowns on it. Uh, it's made out of brass, um, but this is the stove, actually, and you could store it in the mess kit, if I could get this to open correctly. There we go. Uh, it's an alcohol stove, so normally uh, Swedish soldiers would carry this around. Um, it's actually pretty heavy. This is a pretty hefty piece of metal, and you would fill this little um, container here with alcohol, and you would light it, and then you could cook over it. Um... So, and uh, the second part of the stove, if we can get the mess kit out of the actual stove here. Come on now, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Um, Cause everything is so well built in this, it actually, everything fits very snug together. Uh, which is, you know, something that a lot of the uh, things don't, don't have. So, um, so what you do is, see this, it's got, the mess kit has two, uh, overlapping arms in the furnace here. Okay. And they would fold flat normally. They nest over each other. So, as you can see there, and then you would fold flat and you could carry this, uh, around your mess kit. Kind of like you can do with the M1910 style, uh, mess kits. Um, but what you would do is you can light your stove, put this over it, okay. And then... Say, stove's going, okay there, see? And then you can move it still and it's captive in here until you like lift it off, obviously. And then you can take your frying pan, which is also the lid, uh, this is an unused one. Um, it's got two D-rings on it, uh, so you can route a stick or something through there. Again, if it gets too hot, because uh, this will conduct heat. And you can set this in here to cook over, see that? nests right in there pretty perfect it won't spill or anything um and then uh, if you want to make something more like soup or something like that um their mess kit comes with a hook so you can hang it on a branch over a fire or something to boil water um it's not kidney shaped it's oval shaped which is the usually one of the best ways to spot one of these as compared to because i see these uh, misconstrued all the time for like German mess kits or Polish mess kits or Russian mess kits. They're it, usually if they're oval shaped like this, they're they're Swedish. And um, as you can see, it's made out of very very thick food grade um, aluminum. Right, everything on it is very well over engineered. Really heavy gauge steel wire for everything. Um, but this can also go into the stove as well um, to sit. You can boil water that way if you need to. Um, sorry for all the clinking and the bang and that hanging hook doesn't really store well. It doesn't really have anywhere to go or latch to. So it just bangs around. But, um, very handy little stove here, actually. So, uh, really convenient and super nice to use. Um, the alcohol stove, they're reusable. Um, if you want to put one out, all you have to do is just put the lid back on. Um, alcohol burns actually pretty, uh, well, incredibly hot, um, but you don't really have to worry about it burning yourself too much because once you cut the oxygen off from the uh, fire, it should be pretty good to go. Or, of course, you can just um, throw the alcohol out, and um, since only the vapor from the alcohol is burning, not the actual alcohol itself, uh, the second you get that much surface area into the air, it'll pretty much whoosh before it like hits the ground um, if you're using the right kind of alcohol. Uh, mine also came with this cool... Um, like spoon type thing it's plastic um there you can see the swedish crowns on the uh, handle there uh you could eat with this if you wanted to you could use it as a cup for water you can do pretty much anything you want with it it's just pretty much a cup slash spoon thing 
Um, and uh, then back to the frying pan or the lid. Um, so we'll, we'll assemble the whole thing here for you again. Um, so uh, I don't have the leather routing strap for it, um, but that's all right. See, and then uh, you could fold these to little uh, D rings down. Uh, this one folds forward. I got this whole thing backwards. Um, but how this uh, mess kit would hold together is you would, uh, there's the mark on the thing. This one was made in 89. Um, but you could fold it down and you would route a leather strap through this routing channel here and it would hold it all in place uh, so your food couldn't fall out if you were storing food in here on the move um, so that your uh, um, mess kit uh, frying pan lid would not separate from the pot or main body of it uh, everything like that and then this whole whole assembly would then uh, nest with this specific cutout for it into the furnace as you can hear the stove okay and then um, if you don't have anything in your uh, can uh, in your mess kit you can keep your stove in there and your cup so uh, just a very very innovative really really overbuilt nice piece of equipment I got all this stuff together um, these are of all the mess kits that are like this these are on the more expensive side. They're actually the top of the line. These are actually super hard to, well, not super hard. They're harder to find now, cheap, um, but they are still around. Uh, you gotta be willing to pay for them, but they're gonna last you a lifetime. Um, they're super nice and they often come with a bunch of extra stuff. Um, like mine came with the little alcohol bottle too. It's this kind of like opaque plastic kind of like condiment bottle pretty much that you you'd use to spray into your uh alcohol furnace here um so that was you know cool i got a bunch of other cool stuff with mine i got like a magnesium fire starter um bunch of stuff i got like a swedish knife uh so i got tons of stuff with this kit actually for like 70 dollars so and it had to come all the way from lithuania yeah lithuania was the one that I bought this one from because uh, this is my only green one. Uh, all the other ones I have are either unfinished or black. So, yeah, I have one unfinished one and one black one. So, these are just super nice. I actually like this design. Um, I like the roundness of it. Uh, not the roundness, the, the shape of it that makes it very unique. I like how everything is, you know, made out of Swedish metal and uh, is made in Sweden it's got everything's all proof marked on it it's a very good system uh, they're, these are great and uh, I highly recommend you get one if you can find one for a reasonable price um, super super nice they use these uh, for for a lot of years as with Sweden normally does they don't like to really throw anything out as you could tell by the fact that they use their like m18 their well their m21 helmet all the way through uh, to the 60s you can find some examples with the like 60s liners in them so they don't really throw anything out and they don't really make anything that breaks so thank you so much for watching uh hopefully you like this video and uh you like this mess kit because i actually really like this mess kit it's my favorite one it's i use the unfinished one uh that i have uh very much um it's neat it's a it's a really good good system uh, i can see why they copied the germans on it um and if you have any additional information on this, if you've ever had any experience using one of these, I'd very much like to hear that down in the comments. I'd like to get your suggestions for future videos, and uh, I'll keep on rocking with these here um, as long as I can keep finding the stuff I want to do videos on and I can keep get some money rolling in here. So, but uh, with Christmas around the corner, it might be a while on some videos and stuff like that with the work schedule and money going towards presents for other people and stuff like that. So uh, thank you very much for bearing with me, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.